conditions out there. Sacramento has a history of fluctuating temperatures, so it's important that pet owners be prepared for anything. Pet expert Charlotte Reed joins us with some seasonal tips to make sure your furry friend has a great winter. Good morning, Charlotte. How you doing? Good morning. I'd like you to meet Wally, who you know already, yes. and then my other English toy, Spaniel Churchill. Oh, they're beautiful little dogs, and always, Thank of course, the, the, the epitome of good behavior, unlike my dog. But when we talk about the winter, uh, there's, right now it's raining, and uh, like, for example, with, uh, with my dog's golden retriever, she gets wet a lot when we go on walks, and, and it's not just drying her off. That's, that's the bare minimum when they get back at home. What else do we need to be careful of when walking the dogs in the rain and uh, the snow? Well, I think it's like you mentioned, Sacramento has a hist historically fluctuating temperatures. So you want to make sure you have a wardrobe apparel for whatever is happening outside your home. So I know golden retrievers because I had one. She didn't like to wear clothes, but she had a nice thick coat. But for example, with Churchill here, Churchill's mm -hmm. wearing a waterproof parka because when he comes to Sacramento, he wants to also spend some time in the city, but go down to Tahoe. So you want a waterproof parka when the temperatures get a lower. Wally here is dressed in layers. Under this nice raincoat, he's got a sweater on. So a raincoat, a parka that's insulated, is always a good thing. If you don't necessarily want to do a sweater and it's too hot, a t-shirt works. But gotcha. you want to make sure once you take this clothing off, if you in fact wear it, towel dry your dog all over his body. Really important to get that water off. And you also want to dry his paws. One thing is so funny, because on my radio show, someone wrote to me and said, my dog goes outside and then she gets all wet and the bed gets all wet. And right. I suggested okay. this one tip, because you made, you said it too. Yeah, they make sure their uh, bed is dry and you got to make sure the bacteria that they drag right. in is washed off, right? Right, so this is from a local store that we all shop at. It's a 16 by 20 mat, it's microfiber. Okay. So after I dry their, do their bodies off and their paws, I always have one of these in the bed. Now, what I like to do if it's on a cold day, I toss it in the dryer before I go out. But it's nice because it's microfiber. It absorbs more than a right. cotton towel, and it also tackles some of that bacteria. Let's also talk about the fluctuating temperature when it comes to inside the home, too. A lot of times people complain of the dry hands and the dry skin, but that also happens to dogs and pets. We need to be careful of, of their paws and their skin. I'm glad you brought that up because of the changing temperatures uh, anywhere from the 30s to the 50s around this time of the year. You want to make sure your pet drinks a lot of water going outside and then coming inside and being wet. Make sure they drink water. It'll help hydrate them as well as their skin. You also want to really pay attention to their paws when it's really, really wet out. Like I said, when your dog is outside anyway, yeah. he's walking through mud. He's walking through rain. He's walking through dirt. So you want to keep those paws clean. A lot yeah. of time at this time of the year, I rinse them off. Off, I wash them off or, or use a, a, a wipe and rinse them, wipe right. them yeah, off. Yeah. And then I also condition them. I'd like to use all natural products on the paws because a lot of times, as you know, dogs lick them off. Lick. But when the paws are too wet, they can get infected. They can get a bacterial uh, uh, infection. It so, can be problematic. You know, Charlotte, let's Absolutely. also talk about, you know, a lot of times the dogs don't get enough exercise when it's wet outside because they're staying inside. We want to keep them socially active. Sure, you know, one of the best things to do is, I know you have a golden retriever, it's a big dog, you've gotta get that dog right. exercise. You know, actually agility sets, you can buy them online. Puzzle toys are also great. Any toy that your dog can chew can relieve some tension. Um, so uh, taking a training class this time of the year is great. Agility is great, training tricks, even a behavior modification class or just an obedience class. One thing you always wanna do is use treats. I like to use salmon treats this time of the year because Ooh, salmon nice. has a lot yes. of vitamin B and it's a cold weather vitamin for you. And you can find it in, like I said, salmon treats or rolls or however, and or even if, if it's salmon dog food. Charlotte Reed with Pet Buzz Radio. Thanks so much for joining us, giving us what we need to know to keep our dogs active, engaged, and clean during the winter months, which is the challenge. We appreciate it, Charlotte. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Bye-bye. All, right. All right, 915 right now. Let's get over to John Vieves. It's not a dog walking morning.